Hey y'all, Wild Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm with Ariana. She's wearing a Kyle Keller t-shirt, which is sweet. And our friend Stephanie, and we're camping right now, kind of. We're hanging out in this cabin right here in Alpena, Michigan. And tomorrow we're going hunting for 360 million year old marine fossils from the Devonian period. And I can't wait to take y'all on that adventure. But the first adventure is sitting around this fire, eating some food. You see Ariana is already sorting some fossils from days past. We've been on a long journey. I'm very excited about tonight and tomorrow. So let's get the video started. Get the fire's going. This is what we gotta talk about. Ariana is uh, <laughs> staring at fossils and sorting and organizing them, which is amazing. And we're about to make some good old camping food. This is a little cabin we rented right here at Camper's Cove in Alpena, Michigan. It's a very, very beautiful spot and affordable. I love hearing acoustic guitar. I could literally listen to that oh, like all day. <laughs> it's so fun just like zoning out. Yeah. When you started earlier, like I didn't even question. I was like, yeah, this is right. Yeah. This is the soundtrack of this moment right now. Yeah. I didn't question like where is the music coming yeah. from? Why is it playing? <laughs> I know. I didn't even notice when you started playing. It just made it just, sense. It really yeah. Really <laughs> yeah. This is like. Really how about that view right there, y'all? The geese are going. It is so, so beautiful. We saw a beaver earlier. Peaceful, beautiful wildlife, beautiful sunset. An incredible precursor to a day of fossil hunting tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It's the morning time. I haven't had my coffee yet. I need some coffee bad. But I did have a peanut butter and banana sandwich for breakfast, which everyone else thought was disgusting, but I thought was delicious. And uh, we're about to get everything packed up, jump in the truck, and go to the fossil hunting location for today. I'm very excited. We made it out to Partridge Point, y'all. The water is crystal clear and absolutely beautiful. It's extremely calm. There's way more exposed than usual. The water is lower, which is very nice. Check this out. This is the type of stuff that's here. Look at the crinoid stems all stuck in the rock right there. Some really long ones right there. I found some really cool stuff here in the past. I'm very excited to hunt today and see what we can find. Check this out, y'all. Ariana found a blastoid. Found a nice piece of coral. Look at that. A little nice blastoid like a sea lily. Oh, and a very nice horn coral right away, too. And we're just getting started. That is awesome. Look at that, y'all. That's a giant horn coral stuck in the rock down there. That thing is huge. There's another one stuck in the rock right there, too. A cool kind of twisty shape. And right there, too, a, re a really long one. Look how long that goes. That's crazy. I'd love to find a loose one that large. That don't happen very often, I don't think. Oh, there's a nice little crinoid stem down in the water right there. Ooh, that's cold water. A little crinoid stem. Let's take a walk along here for a second together. Y'all see anything I miss? Let me know in the comments. There's a lot of stuff. Oh, is that a gastropod? Oh, wow. That's a crinoid calyx. Oh, that's so cool. That's the head of a crinoid, the top. We gotta get a good look at that close in a little better light. Yep, it's a very, very nice crinoid calyx right there. Beautiful fossil. Check out this little ladybug buddy hanging out on the fossils. What you doing so close to the water, man? I don't know if that's safe for you. It's cold water. Don't no, I'm gonna I'm gonna move them up higher. There you go, buddy. That seems a little safer. Maybe a blastoid in the rock right there. I can't tell yet because I haven't picked it up. Oh, nice. Wow. You found one? Yeah, it's a little blastoid in the rock. That is beautiful. Oh, I might need to do some a little bit of prep work on that to expose more. That's really well preserved. Oh, 
Look at this that I just saw staring at me, y'all. That's a trilobite on the rock right there. Check that out. That's the second trilobite I've ever found at this location. And I've probably been here maybe four or five times. That is incredibly beautiful. Little crinoid bit stuck on there too. I am very happy with that. I mean, I was just looking right here at some of all this other cool stuff. And then just that popped out at me. I was gonna pick that up too on camera. I think, look at the little weird crinoid bits. They're kind of cool. It's almost like a little face. I am stoked about that. Check it out, there's three ladybugs on this rock. They must like these rocks for some reason. And they're all right near the water too. Maybe they like the water. Maybe I'm mean for moving that one farther away. There's a big old horn coral out here in the water. Somehow it's loose. That thing's quite phallic. <laughs> it's cool. It's got a little weird coral stuck right there and some crinoid bits there. That's awesome. I'm having so much fun walking out here in the water, y'all. It's never this calm and clear. It's almost always just completely crazy. Like you can't walk out here at all. Look at the giant horn coral in that rock. That is a beautiful horn coral. I think I'm gonna keep that chunk because that's gonna look cool cleaned up. Wow, there's the bottom of him. Wow. Woo, hot dog. I just picked up another little trilobite piece. It's trilo butt. And Ariana said, screw that. I'm taking my shoes off and getting in the water because I keep finding cool stuff out here. So now she's out in it with me too. This is great. Stephanie's doing it too. We're all in the water now. We can't, we can't, we can't stop. It's too beautiful. Looks like a horn coral right there. Oh yeah, that's a big chunky horn coral. Look at the crystallization on the inside of that. That's pretty cool. The stuff from out here is gonna need a little cleaning because it's kind of slimy, but a lot of good stuff out here. I like the way that looks right there. Look at the bottom of the horn coral. Just a, such a beautiful pattern. Oh, look at that side. Ton of crinoid bits and stuff on it. That's just a small section of one. Would have been a big coral. There's a very nice little crinoid stem piece there. A little bit water worn, but still cool. It's going to be hard to tell right here. Let's zoom in a little bit. Partial trilobite right there. Along with some crinoid bits. Kind of a cool rock. Don't think I'll keep that one. Flip this rock over when I picked it up. There's a beautiful crinoid stem chunk on the other side. Just wanted to show you all because I enjoy it. It's a big, beautiful crinoid stem chunk. Wonderfully well preserved. One of my longer pieces for the day so far. Some of these kind of cool, like tube coral things down in here. Look at those little guys. You're a tube coral. Ariana said I'm a tube coral. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if these ones right here are loose. I don't think they are. They're really cool looking in there though. Look at that. It's beautiful. See something down there that looks like a big old crinoid calyx. Oh, whoa. I got another evil one. With the star, it's the star pattern, the pentagram pattern. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, I want to brush it off so bad so I can see. It's the whole thing. It's the whole circle of it. That is crazy. Beautiful crinoid calyx. That is insane. This is a pretty crazy find right there, y'all. I'll put a picture up on the screen of one very similar to this so that you can see more of the pattern exposed. So that way you can compare what this one will look like under that matrix. There's some matrix rock or clay type stuff there. I'm not going to mess with it too much right now, but I might be able to get some of that off. But if so, it'll probably expose a very nice pattern there, like a star. Well, I just accidentally flooded my boot, but that's okay, because now I'm in it for the long haul, which means I can walk wherever I want now and not worry about it. <laughs> so now I just get to walk in deep water. It's pretty cold in there. Oh, there goes the other boot. Oh, that's cold. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's chilly. That feels good. I'll do it for fossils. Um... 
I think I have two crazy fossils right here. I think this is another, yep, that's another crinoid calyx right there. Another one that is insane. And maybe the biggest horn coral I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God. That thing is a monster. It's like a bison horn. That is so cool. I'm glad I flooded my boots now. I've just got the freedom to walk around wherever I please. Crinoid head again? This is crazy. I see some big tubular. Whoa! That side of that thing's cool. Look at all the cross sections. I think I'll keep that. Might even cut and polish it or something. That's really cool. Is there more? I thought I saw more right here. Ugh. Is it more of this? Oh, that's more of the same one. Ah! That's cool. That's a beautiful coral fossil. So some sitting right there too. Let me set those down for a second. Check this one out. Also, similar type stuff, but not quite as nice. Maybe a coral horn section right there. Horn coral. Oh, that's a funky one. I like it. <laughs> I said it wrong too. Horn coral section is what I was trying to say. And then I think, is that another calyx right there? Yep. Another crinoid calyx. That is awesome. Ariana shouted from far away. I had to come take a look. Look at that trilobite in the rock right there. It's so beautiful. First oh, look at it wet. Trilo. Look at it wet. Oh, yeah. Wow. Just get that detail out. That is so killer. I mean, that gray stuff. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's a big piece, too. Oh. Stephanie right. has a huge horn coral over there. Woohoo. Good find. Right there. There's a lot of glare. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. I'm going to reach down. I'm going to brush it off. Look at That's the cross section there of a crinoid calyx. That's kind of neat. Really cool to see it. Oh, boat must have gone by. We're getting them waves. I didn't realize how cool this was going to be. Look at that. Picked up this horn coral trunk, saw that side. You have a cross section exposed there. It's all crystallized on the inside. Perhaps a big horn coral right down there. Yep, but he's a little covered in matrix. Don't think I'll hold on to that one, but I do enjoy it. Looks like one of them big old tube coral things there. Oh, that might still be stuck in the, oh, there it goes. Release. Oh, wow. Look at that cross section. Okay, that actually might be really, ooh, look at the huge crinoid chunk up there. That actually might be really cool to cut and polish. It's very solid. See if I can get the other side of it out, because there's another chunk of it right here. Oh, that, there we go. Ah. Oh yeah, I would love to see that cut. Look at the little cross sections. That will look beautiful cut and polished, I think. I think we're taking that. We're absolutely taking that. Oh, there we go. Oh no, oh you flooded the boots. Yeah, that's why I didn't put my socks on. I knew it was coming, I just want the traction. You got some nice horn coral right there. Both of those are very nice. That thing is this so well great, preserved, yeah. that's insane. See what looks like another one of those tubular looking corals right here. Let's see if it's loose. Some of the stuff's just packed in there pretty good. Oh, that one's loose. Ooh, kind of. Look at that. That's wild. That one's got a lot of other junk on it. Not a great coral example, but pretty cool. We'll leave that there. Got a couple of those loose little tube coral things down here. Oh, I love those. They're, aren't they so cool? Oh, they're so cool. Yeah, these ones are really pretty. Those ones are like, big. Hey, these are going to look good cleaned up, I think. Nice horn coral in the rock down there. Let's see. Yeah, that's really cool. Just such a, it's exposed so nicely. There's a lot of slime on this, but I bet getting that cleaned up, it looked pretty dang nice. Hopefully y'all can see in the water pretty well here. Look at all the cracks out there. It's really neat. It's kind of cool to watch the formation busting up. It's all really old. <laughs> it's so cool. So cool to be standing on it, just walking around. 
I'm tempted to get in with my snorkel gear. That's a little chilly though. <laughs> all right, y'all. It might be a little bit crazy because it's a little breezy and that water is very cold, but I brought all my snorkeling gear from Florida and I think I'm going to get in the water and look around and bring the GoPro underwater just to give you all a good close-up underwater view of some of these fossils. It's really beautiful down there, so I think we're going to do that right here, right now. And I'm going to be very cold, but I think it's worth it. I hope. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm about all suited up. I'm gonna throw my hood on, put on my mask and snorkel. I'm gonna jump in the water and see what's down there and bring y'all with me. Let's do it. All right, y'all, this is gonna be cool. I think I'm ready. I'm begging the sun, please don't Ooh. go down. I don't want today. That was way colder than I expected. To be a memory, cause I know time is gonna take me one step closer to my lonely grave. I see the shadows, and they're moving slowly. Falls, cricket sing. That pale moon's rising. Ooh. Ooh. Well, it reminds me my time no, is no. gonna come. What have I done? <laughs> so I'm begging the sun, please don't go down. I don't want today to be a memory. Cause I know time is gonna Ooh. take me one step closer. My lonely grave. Will springtime come? There's flowers blooming, I guess true beauty just comes and goes. Well, they say nothing will last forever. Guess we're no different than the fall of rain and snow. So I'm begging the sun, please don't go down. I don't want to Is gonna take me one step closer to my lonely grave. Oh, I know time is gonna take me one step closer to my lonely grave. <laughs> Super fun time snorkeling in the water, but man, I got really cold, especially when I got out of the water. But I think we found a lot of cool stuff down there, and it was just really fun to see it all under the surface. Now I got my flannel on, and I'm feeling good. And we're gonna keep walking and surface hunting the beach areas. Y'all, look at this one. I was in the water. There, Yada and Stephanie found that crinoid calyx. Oh my gosh, look at the star pattern. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. That is so beautiful. The wind really started picking up, sorry in advance, about any wind noise we may or may not experience. But look how beautiful the ground is here. Just littered with rocks and fossils and ladybugs. Ooh, what, what, what's that one? That one's a little different. Beautiful creatures. This is kind of cool, y'all. I just picked this up, but it was facing this way when I picked it up, so I didn't even film it. I saw that thin line there and thought, maybe calyx, turn it around. Beautiful crinoid calyx right there. Look at the pattern on there. That's neat. Along with some bryzo and right there. I am in love with that. That's a cool piece with a very nice large crinoid chunk. I like that a whole lot. A ton of other stuff just... Line and they're all mashed together, weird coral 
things like that. I'll happily add that to the bucket. Keep walking around right here. There's a piece with some kinoid cross sections. Really neat. Just so beautiful. This is really cool. This is a different kind of kinoid. You don't see a whole lot. It's probably really hard to tell. It's not round though. It's got angles on it. And it's in this little coral rock chunk. That's actually really cool. See it wraps around like that. Very, very neat piece. I like that a lot. Check out the rock here and how cracked up it is. Really cool how it just breaks in these big slabs and all of these are just loaded with crinoid pieces and things like that. Really beautiful to look at. That's for sure. Look at this crazy cool crinoid stem that Ariana just picked up. A little branch hanging out there. That is so cool. The detail is just amazing. There's a nice crinoid stem right there. Pretty long one. Just flipped a rock over and saw it hiding under there. Oh, there's another little piece of one right there too. Very, very beautiful. Yeah, oh yeah, there's another little piece right there. They're just lying all over the place. Very cool. I like that crinoid chunk right there. Oh yeah, that's a very nice one. Very, very beautiful. Oh yeah, a bunch of stuff on that side too. And a little creature crawling on my finger. <laughs> This is kind of cool, y'all. Look at the crinoid stem going through there. It's a huge, very long piece of it. This is a pretty cool piece. That's very, very cool. Look at the brachiopod in there. It's like one side of it. And there's some bryozo in there. Really, really nice preservation on that. Look at this one that Stephanie just found with the little branches. Oh, that's Come off. Wait, she found another one? <laughs> ah, look at another one right there. Those are beautiful crinoid stems. Nice. Nice little stem hiding out right there. Very well preserved. I like that a lot. That one's so Oh my god! Spotty, so. Look at that one that Stephanie just found. Crinoid calyx in the matrix. Oh, that's beautiful. Such a cool find. I love those things. Heck yeah! Oh, That's yeah. great. <laughs> I like this little plate right here. It's cool. A bunch of small little crinoid bits, but tons of them. How beautiful is that? Did we already see this? There's no way we already saw this. Oh my god! What the heck? Oh my god! <laughs> Look at that, that Ariana spotted. That is so cool. It's a crinoid stem all that? swirled up in a perfect little swirly. <laughs> what? That is so cool. So cool. That is beautiful. I love that. Oh <laughs> Don't forget to check out this video linked on the screen right here from my most recent fossil hunting trip to Kentucky. We found some pretty incredible stuff. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any adventures. And I'll see y'all in the next one.